Hi there, this is Sheena Rowlands and today I'm sharing with you my National Scrapbooking Day Mixed Media Challenge 2021. Hey little magpie, I have challenges running all weekend as I recommend you hop over to their site to take part. So I'm starting with some white cardstock here that I've gessoed with clear gesso and that's obviously dry and I've decided I'm going to go big and bold on this layout completely inspired by the outfit my daughter is wearing and I, you'll see that again when I bring the photos back in she's got a stripy jumpsuit on and um, this is just black acrylic paint uh, it's a flat brush uh, which is helping and I'm paint, just painting some stripes along the cardstock started in the centre uh, and I'd marked it with a pencil so I'd got an idea where the centre of the cardstock was just because I wanted to make them even Initially I only did five but I decided I actually wanted to stretch them further so I came back in when the first five were dry and I added one either end to make a total of seven. And then I put that cardstock aside to dry. Now I've got this piece of patterned paper, it's from the Lovely Day collection from Dear Livesey in American Crafts and I had an idea that I wanted to add some coloured flowers preferably in a rainbow. So as you can see I've got distress inks either side of the paper here. I did bring in the little brushes at the top thinking I could use those but they seemed a bit big in comparison to some of the flowers so I've got my finger daubers out uh, that um, I picked up online and I'm using different shades of the rainbow, the rainbow colours, yellow at the moment uh, and now looking at some oranges uh, to colour in some of the flowers. Now I'm going to cut these out so as you can see I'm not being very um, neat, that's not a problem um, and it won't show in the finished flowers. Some of them also I'm trying to blend a couple of colours together so I'll come in with one then I'll come in with something else. Whether you'll see that in the end is debatable but um, I thought it was worth a try. I'm also doing some of the leaves as well as I go through. I'm aiming to have one big flower in each of the rainbow colours and then some smaller ones as well to dot around the layout. I think they need to be big and bold to actually compete with the black stripes. The acrylic paint certainly is black. I did initially think I would use watercolour but actually trying to get it to look like black rather than grey I thought would be more difficult so I stuck with the acrylic paint. So I'm just working down the rainbow so I've got as far as looking at the blues and uh, I do love these distress oxides they're uh, my favourite inks at the moment and uh, there's so many beautiful colours and obviously it keeps releasing more so uh, you can always add to your collection. So I'm just looking at some blues and some purples so I can add these in to the layout. So it looks a bit messy so I've cut these out while uh, watching Line of Duty. If you're British you'll know all about that as we get ready for the final uh, finale. So I'm just bending these flowers a little now just to add some um, depth and I want to arrange them in rainbow order pretty much down that left hand side of the page. So I'm just making sure that they, I want them to overhang on either end and that they're uh, how I'd like them to be. I think they, they stand out quite well against the black. I'm just going to bring my photos in. Now you can see the stripy outfit my daughter has on and I think that goes really well with the stripes. I just want to make sure I've got them posi everything positioned red right, ready, so uh, when it comes to stick it down, I know what, what I'm doing. I do want to use some foam pads to attach these flowers just to add a little bit of depth. Uh, also, I think it needs some good adhesive to actually stick to the paint and the gesso. So I'll just start at the top. I've took them down off camera. I don't think you need to see me do this. And I'm just looking on how to add the smaller ones and the leaves that I'd cut out. I've fast forwarded this a little as I get quite indecisive. I really enjoyed inking and cutting out these leaves and flowers. And I want to make sure that I can use a few of them on the finished page. So I'm just placing them with their own colour group. So the reds with the reds, that sort of thing working my way down the rainbow. I really enjoyed cutting these out and I want to use as many as I can. Try not to group them too much. I noticed that I was starting to group them in twos 
So I'm going to maybe move a few of those around again. I don't use them all in the end, but uh, it was better to have more to choose from. And um, I use a few of the leaves, but not as many as I did, but that's, that's fine too. So I've stuck the flowers on the left hand side down and I've brought in some alphas to look for my title. In fact, this second one that uh, you can see at the top there, the Paige Taylor Evans small alphas, they're the ones that I choose to use. But I'd stick with the rainbow theme. So the title will be You Colour My World and the word colour and world will both be in this alpha. The other two words will be in some smaller letter stickers. So I'm just choosing the letters that I want. There's, they're all in different colours on the set. I'm trying to do it in the order of the rainbow-ish. Obviously I'd already used some so they're not all there. And I'm actually putting them onto waxed freezer paper. I don't know whether you've seen that before. I use it quite a bit, particularly for titles where you just stick the letters to it. Because it's clear you can put them into position on your page before you actually commit and stick them down. And because of its waxy feel, the letters don't, they stick enough for you to move them around, but actually they, you can actually lift them off to stick them on your layout. They don't get stuck on the wax, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to stick my photos down. I'm happy with their position with the photos tucked over them. And I'm still trying to get my title underneath the left hand photo. I decide that I'd like to raise the title letters up. So I stick the word color to black cardstock and I then trim around it, leaving a little bit of a border. And then I do exactly the same with the white. And then I can add it on foam pads onto the stripes so that they, they stand out. So I brought in some little letter stickers to add the other two words. And now the flowers on the right hand side nearest the photos are getting put into position. And then I'm going to go back in and fill any gaps I've got left with some leaves just to finish it off. Now this is Nouveau Drops, the black one which is called Ebony and I'm just going to put some centres in the flowers. So here's the finished layout. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and give this layout a thumbs up. We'd love you to take part in our challenge and hope you have a great National Strap Booking weekend. Bye for now.